Okay, guys, I made it back <laughs> so that I can finish opening these beautiful books by Tahira Whittington. And I will link her um, information in um, the description box. And also, if you didn't watch the video previous to this one, you may want to go check it out so that you can, um, you know, see all the goodness. So I don't know which one to start with next. Um, and if you're watching this video for the first time, these are two journals that I got from, uh, that I ordered from uh, Tahira, custom made journals um, for my cousin and her girlfriend. Okay, so let's open, let's start with this one. And I have not opened these. These are just her, uh, Tahira's work is so beautiful. Just gorgeous. And look how securely and pretty these are wrapped. This washi. I'm going to save the washi, of course. I, well, I'm not saving it for me. I'm going to save it to put this back. <laughs> this one I'm saying. So, okay, so let's see here, guys. <clears throat> I know my cousin and, and her partner are going to love these. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wait, let me see. Do I have it the wrong way? Look at this. Oh, and by the way, look at that. By the way, because I'm a knucklehead, oh, when I was showing you guys Elaine's, um, the Ace of Spades, look on the back, duh, ding dong, <laughs> ding bat, <laughs> if we're going to do Archie and Edith, I'm a ding, ding bat, okay, it says the teacher's table, journal, stationery, and paper crafts by Elaine, and there's her website, and I'm going to hold it right there so you can pause it. And that's a special card. Um, there was something else I can't remember, guys. Because, you know, once I get started, I'm on. Like, turn me off. Because I am all the way on. Um, I know that... Um, oh, I think Tahira... That I missed some pockets on Sharina's um, book. Which is still here. Um wrapped i haven't un of course i'm not going to undo it again but i miss a pocket on her so i'm going to try and take my time and go through go through these guys i just you know i don't um yeah i just enjoy it like it's like right now <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> i'm like uh well no i better not say that okay anyway so here's here's um this one is for sharon my cousin she's gonna love this Oh my God, They're, guys, they don't have any idea, which is why I'm taking my time with these because they don't have any idea. And sorry for the sniffles. I do have allergies um, since yesterday. They kind of started. They're not bad though. It's just itchy eyes and sniffling. Um, so sorry for that. I may pause it. Let me pause it and blow my nose. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I've been teaching all day too. And so um, lecturing virtually all day and oh well all morning into the afternoon so yeah anyway so look at this look how beautiful this is and this is for my cousin Sharon look at this look at the beautiful detail here oh my gosh I just love the um, I think I think Tahira was trying to tell me there's a double pocket somewhere on on Sharina's but look at that Look at this hope. Isn't that beautiful? Such gorgeous work. And that's the same lady. Um, look at that. Look at the oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me try to calm down. I'm so sorry. I'm so horrible. Not I, I no, I'm not horrible at showing things. I just get so so excited i love the way i feature things it's just my way and i just get so excited that i can't handle it. and sometimes i lose my mind for you know a few seconds a lot of seconds and then i come back <laughs> that's okay oh my gosh look how gorgeous these colors are I ordered some um 
black labels from Joanna, Joanna Clow, um, Yoey, I call her Yoey because I've, oh my gosh, known her for a while, for a hot, hot long time now, and I ordered some black labels from her that I'm going to use in some of my journals, um, they were digitals, um, y'all all know who she is, but I will link her because I love to name drop and celebrate, um, and if, in case you're interested in something like that for your journals, but look at this. Tahira, I love the color scheme. Look at that. Look at the tape. Oh, man, that's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Let me see if I put another little bit. I finally got uh, me a ring light, but I haven't po put it up yet. I will. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited to use that. So that might help because I'm in front of a window. There's a window here and a window over there. Um, and a lamp light there and a lamp, big lamp light up there at a diagonal. <laughs> so I got all kinds of light trials, um, to go through. This is just gorgeous. I love this. I haven't read that. Oh, look how pretty. Look, look how pretty that is. Oh my God, to hear a girl, I'm going to be. Oh my goodness, I've got, um, for those of you who know me, you know that I teach. I am a college professor. Yes, I am a college professor. Um, I teach college classes on the university where I'm a college professor, but I also teach um, high schoolers dual credit, dual enrollment classes, and I have um, a lot of students that I plan to buy journals for, and they are... Um, they're just amazing little people. They really are. Um, I love this. This is choose to love who you are in this life. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh to hear it. This is so gorgeous. Ah, it's so pretty. Look at that leaf. And forgive me if I don't go and find all the pockets and everything because I just want to show you guys. She's Tahira's work is just amazing. It's just so beautiful. I'm not gonna show that. Leave some things as a surprise. My cousin um and um her girlfriend, they do not watch my channel, as far as I know. They're in uh Everett, Washington. I do know that they guys they were promoting my Etsy store one day, one week. <laughs> And they're back to their busy lives because they're busy people, you know? Look at that. This is awesome. They love to travel. My cousin actually went to um, Africa and to do some dental hygienist work. Sorry. She went to Africa. Oh, my gosh. It's been a hot minute. And um, she actually... That was an experience for her. I mean, she really, really enjoyed it. Um, and it was one of those things that, um, you know, you just, it, it, it's a life altering experience. And they went there to um, do dental work and hygienist work. Look at that, how pretty that is. Love all the little elements and, and interactiveness here just beautiful um i'm hoping that i'm gonna i may have to ask her i'm hoping that she kept some of her i'm sure she did because she talked about the experience of going to africa so much just to work on people's teeth it was almost like a they're not religious um at all um but it was i think it was through something like a maybe like a missionary kind of thing i'm not sure but she talked about it for, you know, in, in the experience of it. Although she was kind of a bit peeved because some of the men were bogarting their way <laughs> up to the line to have their teeth clean or done or whatever it is they were doing um, before the women. And she was, yeah, she was like, oh, I'm so over that. <laughs> Look at that. The fabric so perfect and the charm. this look at this liquor tea coffee and wine and they definitely are liquor and wine people <laughs> oh boy 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Responsibly so, I should say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is just so beautiful. So pretty. Oh, to hear this is so lovely. It's just lovely. Pure loveliness. Look at this. She's got paper to write on here to journal on. Beautiful playing card. Just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And look at this paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this. And look at this dapper, beautiful, handsome man there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Love, love, love it. They're going to love it too. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, to hear this is beautiful. Look at that. Seattle. Guys, the, uh, let's see. Nicole at Relax Cut Glue. <laughs> When I first bombarded her, because y'all know me, I'm not shy. I will show up at your channel. If you don't want me writing on your channel or leaving comments, just delete or block me because I will show up <laughs> and I will write stuff. I posted on Nicole at Relax Cut Glue. My cousin is, guys, she's a Dallas Cowboys fan, first and foremost, because we were raised right here in Texas. But... When she moved to Seattle, she kind of became a little turncoat, is what I like to call her. Even though she still supports Dallas, um, there are some moments that I'm feeling the turncoat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm feeling like the Seahawks are her thing, um, primarily. Primarily. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not kidding. I'm very serious about that. But she swears. No, no. I, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, mm hmm uh-huh. Look at this. The corks. Love these. I find, guys, I've sold some of these before, and I find these at thrift stores. Wine corks like that. Oh, I, and I collect them from, if well, before COVID, you could go to restaurant bars, and they would save these for you. Um, and sell you could sell them because people I don't know what people use them for they make wall art with them um, obviously they photograph them um, I saw one lady one time in our community in the junk journaling community make a uh, book cover out of those I have some but mine the ones I the the ones recently I found at a thrift store are more synthetic there's not that many quirky ones there's some but not that many and so I like to wait till I get a lot of cork ones so that I can sell them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this pretty black lace. I think Tahira got this lace for me. Love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love this. I'm going to love and adore this Tahira. Um, it's just, it's just beautiful. And it's so perfect for them. All of the, the journals are just so perfect as a, as a little family. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And there's a card in there. I won't share everything. Oh, my God. And she put Marvin G in here oh my god to hear it she loves marvin k oh i love marvin k too how beautiful oh my gosh oh my gosh aurora borealis oh to hear oh my gosh i am definitely a customer for life girlfriend for life Mm, 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 mm. look at this the pretty blue teal my lighting is is it's kind of overcasty here because it's gonna rain it rained the other day it's gonna rain today and then sun 
and then more rain i'm not going to go through that that's for them that's for sharon my cousin oh this is so pretty look at this <laughs> look oh my god this is so gorgeous i love it i love it i love it look at these beautiful florals love that oh Tahira, this is just gorgeous divine teachers oh i love this oh my gosh i love this look at that can you guys see that oh i love this i love it because it's about balance right i Guys, if I could share with you the conversations and lecture and I should say discussions um, that I have with my students today, both my both groups of students. I have students that are in a private high school who have been uprooted because of the freeze and the flooding. Our school, our private school um, is under construction. It was doing OK in terms of trying to fix things up um, for the kids. And, and it's, it's a private school that goes from pre, from kindergarten, kindergarten, guys, my Spanish, did you hear me go, um, from kindergarten up through, uh, 12th grade, right? Seniors, graduation. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> And they are, they have been, uh, we're moving, we're actually going to be, I have to actually teach them virtually from now on until they get another spot. Um, they are looking at another facility. Um, they don't want the kids in the building while construction is happening, which makes a lot of sense. Nobody wants lawsuits, right? Look at that. There's a tooth. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know where in the world. Look at that. Look white teeth oh my lord here she's gonna that's gonna really 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 <laughs> jump start her she's gonna be like what <laughs> oh my gosh so um the conversations that that um the the um discussions the dis the discussions that and lectures that I have with my students today um, was just amazing. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Oops, sorry. I'm off camera there. Look at the pansy. <laughs> oh, my God. Look. Oh, to hear This is so cool. Oh, man. This is so cool. Love it. Let's see. Is that that can't be Erica Badu, is it? No, it's not. It is. <laughs> You're not ever stumping me again, here. I'm telling you, girl. I'm on it now. I I I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And Erica Badu is from Dallas. Um, she's from right here. She's known for those hats. Oh, girl, please. Shaka Khan, please. Oh, please. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. To hear you sure know how to do it, girl. And look at this beautiful paper here. This Rosemary Morris paper. I, I don't think she gets her paper, her, um, her, um, eco dye paper anywhere else. Look at that. I don't know how in the world. Let me show you guys my bean paper that I'm saving for Val at Pumpkin Patch. I hope she doesn't watch this video. Hold on. Okay, let me show you guys quickly. I hope Val doesn't watch this. Look at this. I promised her some black. This is, okay, let me just say a couple things. I will never, and I'm saying never with confidence. Never. I know they say never say never. I'm saying never. I will never use turmeric or, um... I don't know, spices that are better for my body than they are for dying. I, I think turmeric is such a blessing <laughs> as a spice. I think it's kind of sacred. You know what I'm saying? I would never use that. Everything I die with 
it's from something that might go in the trash. So when I avocado dye, I we eat the avocados and then I dye with the the seed and um the um peeling, you know. Black beans, oh, and I coffee dye, okay? And I do buy instant coffee for coffee dye. So that's probably, I'm kind of being a little contradictory there, but yeah, that's just, it is what it is. But one day I was playing around with bean paper with uh, the leftover, when you soak black beans, and we eat a lot of black beans in this house, we don't eat them like every week or every two weeks. But we eat them often, often enough for me to kind of save up and hoard um, some of the juice so that I can dye paper with. And look at, at Val's paper. I'm saving this up for her, for her. It's so pretty and blue. Excuse me. And it reminds me of, look at that. You won't be able to see all of the patterns. Let me try and turn off. Hold on, guys. Let's see if that light, turning off that light work, maybe. But anyway, I'm saving this up for Val, and I'm waiting until I get quite a bit of it, because I promised her. <laughs> and I keep my promises. They take a long time, but I keep them. Guys, I teach college courses to high schoolers, so give me a break, okay? Just give me a break, just a little bit. I'm not here every day crafting. I don't craft every day. <laughs> I like have a profession. <laughs> like like I, I'm working. Um, I'm, and I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just teasing you guys. Um, my job. Look how pretty that one came out. Isn't that beautiful? So don't tell her. Don't tell Val. <laughs> it's a secret. And I'm not doing bean paper or bean dye paper. You, just for Val. That's it. Nobody else. <laughs> Just for her, because I don't have time for that. It's, it takes a lot. I mean, I suppose as I save up, you know, um, the bean juice or whatever it is, the bean juice, the juice off the beans, um, then I can do some. But I'm not selling that in my shop. That That's just for her. So that brings me back to Rosemary. I don't know how in the world she gets this beautiful... Um, look at the blue on that. And this is eco dye paper. It's just gorgeous. I don't know how she does that. She's got videos on that. You can buy a course from her to learn how to do that. I don't know. Look how pretty that is. Those uh, rustic browns and that pretty blue. Oh, I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it so much. Oh, my gosh. And I, I love it that um, Tahira has put that in there because that's a family. That's a family of art. Right? Right there. <laughs> right there <laughs> oh my gosh i just love it look at this look at this paper can you hear that paper in there oh man this is so gorgeous oh it's so gorgeous look at that look at this joy guides oh that's so beautiful it's so pretty Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm done. Game over. Done. <laughs> over. <laughs> I am so over. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Look at Rosemary's paper right there, too. Look at this. Love her. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> And that blue butterfly, I bought my mom um, her book. And um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Look at this. All these pretty little elements and little enhancements. Page enhancements. Oh, I just love this. Okay, just saying. <laughs> just saying. Oh my gosh, Tahira, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You can never go wrong with Nina, honey. Never. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that image of her so much. I love it so much. And that's in my journal. Oh, 
It's pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Everything is better with a friend. Oh, look how gorgeous. And then look at this. Blackberry jam. <laughs> look at the red. Look at those red um, embellishments there. And that music. Um, my cousin and her uh, girlfriend are uh, music lovers. And I won't say a lot about uh, Tahira. You guys will have to go and, and check her out. And just, yeah. <clears throat> All I'll tell you is that she's a musician, too. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm saying. Look at this, the sand dollar. Oh, to hear it, this is so lovely. Look at the stenciling here. Isn't that pr pretty, beautiful? Can you guys see that? It's purple, kind of a lavender purple. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's just so beautiful, Tahira. I love it so much. I love it so much. And look at the fabric. She's got <clears throat> lacing here and lace here. And I love how it's, it's like a it's like layers i don't know and then she's got ribbon that ribbon that goes in and out that kind of weaves in and out in this fabric and one thing i'll tell you now i love the fabric that she used on their journals um she also used some of that on my journal yeah that's some family keepsaking right there isn't that beautiful okay all right guys let me see if i can get it back i'm not should I torture you guys and have you watch me tie this back? Of course, I'm not going to get it as nice as she did, but we shall see. And then I have my cousin's partners. There we go. That's so beautiful. Okay. And I won't wrap it back up just yet to here. I will. I promise I'll wrap it back up just like you put it in there. I'll try my best. Um, but it will be wrapped secure, and I think I'm going to put them in the in the same box um, that you mail them to me in. I'm just going to mail them um, to them in in the um, the box that came. Okay. All right, let's keep going here. Um, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I just think it's so amazing to book make. You know what I'm saying? It's just really cool. I've got my niece is at the point now, my sister's daughter is where I'm going to have to get her another one. I ordered one of Turier's uh, journals. Um, I gifted the journals that I ordered from her. I gifted a lot of them to um, my niece, to uh, you guys may remember if you've been with me for a while. Um, the young girl who used to help me at the college at the university where I teach, um, she would do a lot of scanning for me. So a lot of my digitals are just scan i don't scrub i don't know how to do any of that i don't have photoshop i don't have any of that stuff um a lot of the papers that i scan are just papers that i thought you might be able to use in your journals and for me to preserve um for that reason and they're random i mean they kind of have a theme but really not um so it's pretty random but the little girl that um young lady that helped me um over the years before COVID scanned my digital, she scanned them at the college on the really big, nice printers. Um, and um, I bought a journal from a Tourier and gifted one of those journals to her and I gifted one of her journals to my niece. So it's about time to buy my niece another one because, you know, she's getting older and she's, she's got a lot, you know, she's doing better, but my niece has been through a lot, guys. I, I wish I could share everything with you, but I can't. Um, I, I just can't. And I get heartbroken and sad and mad. Um, anyway, but yeah. But everything is fine. She's she's doing okay. Everything is, is, is pretty okay for, for now. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Look at all the space, too, that they'll have to fill these up. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And look at that color. Look at the color. 
what I did with um, Tahira is I gave her, she, she asked me for specific questions. Well, no. She asked me for little characteristics that, and, you know, like co favorite colors and things like that. And I mean, she just, it's just out the ballpark. I mean, this is just so beautiful. Look at this. And this is for Jackie. That's my cousin's partner. Jackie and my cousin, guys, they have technically been together, literally been together um, since high school. And, of course, my cousin went off and married, well, not went off, she married one of our high school uh, um, friends in our circle. And he joined the army and she went traveling and she came back and it was like, mm-mm. <laughs> kids and husbands not for me <laughs> oh my gosh anyway it's not for everybody we love children we love the perfect marriage and everything's perfect but it's just not for everybody guys it's okay right okay anyway so um jackie and my cousin they've known each other guys oh lord have mercy i am i like i'm <laughs> extremely mature and they've been together since I was probably like 17, somewhere around there, um, 16, 17 years old. So this is, they've been, they've got history, lots of history. And my cousin's husband, like I said, is he's all in the family. I mean, he, he makes sure that, um, his daughter Sharina is, is well cared for and my cousin as well. He, he loves them so much. And, um, you know, a blended family, that's just how it goes sometimes and how beautiful it is um, that sometimes we, you know, kind of buck the system and go against conventions. Um, all of it is great if you're happy. You have to be happy, right? Um, I wouldn't be doing what I do if I didn't love it. I, I never, I was raised that way. I swear to God, I just cannot do anything um, that I'm not happy with. Um, so, you know, hopefully most of us are like that. And then look at this fabric under here. She's got behind here. This is some um, upholstery fabric. This is a beautiful image here. I love this. I love it. I love it. And then this um, is beautiful. Um, this is machine stitched. Uh, what do you call it? I guess just lace, right? And I put some of this... Um, in the color parts of the thank you packs for the um uh snippet roll kits that i have and that i sold and thank you to all the ladies who bought those i'm very grateful to you all and then look at this wow this is just beautiful look at this look at that piece of black lace up there just snipped off and put right there isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh Oh, Lord have mercy. I, I don't think Tahira has a shop. I, I really don't. Um, I don't, she'll, she, you know, she'll probably chime in and put it in there. Um, if you're interested in ordering books from her, I have no idea what her scheduling is like. I don't know. I just asked and, um, yeah, and I have been extremely, extraordinarily blessed um, and these are just treasures that will live on in my family. And I'm so grateful to her for doing these. They, they're just beautiful. They're gorgeous. Look at that. The color's green. Look. Two. R is for rainbow. Arch of light. Love this to hear. Oh my God. I love it so much. Oh, I just love, it's just so perfect. It's just so beautiful and so perfect. And then there's a charm there. All the papers, the writing space, labels, dinner time. <laughs> I know what that's in reference to, that my cousins guys my cousin we're such dorks but i'm pretty sure you guys do this with your girlfriends and your families and your kids if they're in college or if they're away from you um or grandchildren um or sisters or brothers moms and dads grandparents my cousin will send me a lot of times pictures like she was so proud of her birthday and so she sent this 
um, plate of food that Jackie made for her. And it was just, oh, it was a lot and it was really nice. And so, um, yeah, so I know what that's all, all referring to. I'm pretty sure they'll get that too. Look at these beautiful images. Just gorgeous. Love that from the Essence magazine. Oh my gosh, Tahira, you didn't. Wait, I have to take a picture of this. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. Let me get my... Hold on. If I can get a picture of that. How am I going to do it? There we go. I'll just do it this way. Um, I sent Tahira an old... Uh, I think it was, she knows, a 1960 something or 70 something. It was a 60 something uh, Life magazine. I sent her some Life magazine. Well, I sent her a Life magazine and it was all about Angela Davis. And look at what she's put in there. <laughs> oh my God. Love Angela. Mm -mm. Love her. <laughs> oh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Look. look how beautiful that is. Look at that. My cousin's mom, I'm we're cousins because her dad was my great grandmother's baby brother, but her mother, I was very close to her too. I've talked about her maybe way back when I started um, doing videos, and she was really beautiful like this. Just gorgeous, a beautiful, beautiful woman. Faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. <laughs> it sure does. It sure does. How beautiful is this? Oh, my God. And there's Jackie's envelope. And then look at that. All that beautiful paper. Oh, I just love this so much. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that. And look at this beautiful image there. I know my power. And that's been me my entire life. Oh, my gosh. The most frustrating thing in life for me, guys, is when somebody... Um, uh, tries to or think that they can disturb um, the power that we have. I was mm, having a conversation. I'll tell you a little snippet as I'm flipping through. I was having a conversation with my all white students um, that come from uh, very wealthy families, um, my private school, high schoolers. And one of them asks me, um, they said, you know, Professor, why why did you say, I remember you saying that being called Negro um, doesn't bother you. Um, but does the N-word, if someone calls you the N-word, does that bother you? And that sparked an entire conversation about people say things for reaction, right? And words, words hurt. They inflict pain. But I was teaching, trying to sort of, you know, teach my students or instill in them that, you know, we almost have to look a little bit further than that because if a person uses words for any race or any culture, any race, any culture, words that have historical um, meaning in terms of, in you know, inhumane, okay, or it's meant to... Uh, be condescending or to to sort of exercise sort of a superiority um, over another. Um, I was telling talking with my students and telling them that what usually when people use those kinds of words for any race or any culture, I'll say that again, repetition. Um, then you know the the point is to get a reaction, and if a person uses those terms and they get a reaction, then they've been sort of they're they've, they've done what they intended to do right and but that doesn't mean that that the word and we were talking about how um the n-word is used in literature 
And um, a lot of authors use the word and, and wrote, you know, Mark Twain, James Weldon Johnson, a lot of Harlem Renaissance poets use it. I mean, people use it in rap music um, in a different context uh, to some degree. But and I would argue that in rap music, that that word is sort of takes back the ownership of um, I have a brotherhood and you don't, right? Something like that is is what I'm trying to say um, in terms of using the, the way rap or rappers use um, the term that they use. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Lord have mercy. This is so gorgeous. And so I was, oh my gosh, to hear this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And this is so perfect. So perfect. Um, so we were, my, my students, they're trying their best, bless their hearts. Um, and I always remind them to raise their children if it, by, by choice, they have a choice to raise their children, um, to be open-minded, you know, um, traveling is a good way to learn about people and to learn how not to, you know, hate, hatred is taught. It really is. I think hatred, um, is something that, um, people in our world today uh, that are the way they are, they learn that, um, as they grow up. I mean, we are responsible for what our kids say, what they hear, what they know, um, and bless their hearts. They're really trying to navigate between, you know, their world. I won't say two worlds, but they're really trying to understand. So anyway, I was, I was telling them that, um, words don't bother me. I'm so guys, look, I don't tell them this. I'm telling you guys this. They know that I I lost a child, but when you lose a child, I mean, you're just completely numb to BS. I mean, it just, it's just not even, but I would even say even before my daughter passed away, um, I was not one to be disturbed by, um, stupidity and ignorance. I love that word. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, but that's not to say that young people aren't trying to navigate. All young people aren't trying to navigate between a world that's full of hatred and racism um, today in America, especially specifically um, in our country, because it is definitely rampant. Um, and it's so unfortunate. Um, I often wonder how much damage um, adults do to their children when they teach them to hate, when they teach them racist, um, behavior and, um, ways, racist ways. Um, I just, it's just such a waste of their lives be, because I think all young people have the potential to be, um, magnificent, you know? But it's, you know, parents, it's so easy um, to put children in the world. And I don't mean easy in terms of bam, slam, wham, thank you, ma'am, that kind of thing. And I know I said that wrong. I'm sorry I screwed that up. But <laughs> um, it's, it's fairly easy to put kids in the world. But then what do you do once they're here? I mean, how responsible um, are you as a parent, even as a grandparent, um, you know, to we, my black and brown students have been reading Catherine Mansfield's The Garden Party by Catherine Mansfield. And The Garden Party is an interesting and very fascinating short story, um, wherein I would argue that Laura is likely the protagonist, she's the protagonist, is likely the epitome of Okay, my dog, he's going to howl because there's fire trucks going by. All right, it was a short one. <laughs> he's like a wolf. <laughs> um, Laura, the protagonist in Catherine Mansfield's, um, oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Look at that. She's likely the epitome of um, what the modernists, some of the modernists were trying to do in terms of bucking the system and being free um, and not... Um, I don't know, going with tradition, nothing wrong with going with tradition. It just depends on what kind of tradition we're talking about. And look at this, isn't that beautiful? 
So I have had some very serious conversations and discussions and lectures and um, points of examples for my students. Um, if you've never read Catherine Mansfield's The Garden Party, you should. Everybody should read that. Somebody should make a journal about that particular book because Laura does something um, on her own, I would argue, you know. Um, parents are responsible for kids, but sometimes I think these young people today are way more underestimated um, than we'd like to think. They know a lot more than we'd like to believe. Um, and they're not, it's not so easy to pull the wool over their eyes. But I do, I will say this, and this is from experience in teaching for the many years that I have taught young people um, college liberal arts courses. Um, that the more the people they rely on, the authority, mother, father, grandma, granddad, great aunt, great uncle, aunt, uncle, sister, big sister, big brother, um, whoever their guardians are, whoever's responsible for them, the more, um, you know, they instill hate or racism or um, other sort of superior attitudes or that kind of thing even my niece my sister's daughter she's guys she's guilty of the superiority thing I, i'm not, i'm just saying she really is in terms of you know this is what i have and what about those oh those poor children that kind of thing you know i mean and you know anyway it's it's very it's it's a challenge it causes um young people our young people um to be conflicted inside and internally and that's why you have a lot of high rate of suicides in young people not only does COVID add to that but it's um sort of lifestyles before COVID things that they're learning in the house in the home um the way they're being taught to see people of color brown people black people um you know people that are different or does not look like them um, they're being taught the the, the wrong thing um, and it didn't help and yes I'm gonna have a moment of a political moment here it didn't help um, you know the people storming into um, the capital of the United States of America with a Confederate flag although I tell my students I'm okay with the Confederate flag too because <laughs> It lets me know who's who. We always want to know who's who, right? <laughs> I'll let you know who I am, but who are you? Um, and so in that sense, I think um, the Confederate flag, no problem. But when you put it in the capital of the United States, it's like, hmm, well, what message is that sending, right? Um, and somebody raised those people. Somebody raised them. Um, some experience, something has happened to them to cause them to be the way they are or think the way they are. And it's just so unfortunate when it's done. Now they grown, you know, whatever happens to them, they, they deserve it. I'm sh I'm sure they do. Uh, they do. Um, but for our young people who are more fragile, I think it's a shame and it's an embarrassment, um, if they're not taught and reared, um, to... I don't know you know it's 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 a heavy burden and you know when people talk about slavery it's no one wants to talk about that because it's it's an embarrassment to some degree and um i think even that can be a topic that is heavy laden on young people um yeah so anyway tahira this is this is beyond what i expected and i know that it's going to be way 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 it guys they don't know what junk journaling is they like my my a cousin bought i don't know like some dominoes from my shop <laughs> one time to decorate like their sports room or something i don't know what they were doing they don't know anything about a junk journal no idea a junk art journal an art journal a glue book um they don't know anything about that. A flow book. They don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Nothing. Zero. So when they get these, they're going to be like, what? <laughs> I can't wait. And I wouldn't have 
purchased these and gotten these from a more um, prolific, beautiful, profound artist than um, Tahira. I've got more buying to do. I'm not done. I have um, I have a lot to, to, to do, guys, in terms of purchasing and ordering. So, um, Tahira, this is just so beautiful. And I, it gives me an opportunity also to share... Um, What's going on, you know, in the state, in the minds of, of our young people today? They are, guys, they're pretty fragile. And hang on, let me grab some tape. Okay. Okay. They're pretty fragile people. And I just adore them. I, you know, I call them my academic babies because they are. And um, I've been teaching for a long time. I've had several of my students who are way long grown and have their own babies um, contact me and express appreciation for many things. And, and I'm grateful for that. That's my job. That That is my lot in this life. And I'm so grateful for it. Um, for all of the parts of, of you know, um, life. I, I just think it's, it's life is good. It's yummy. But I also think that adults, you know, it's one thing to put children into the world. But it's a whole different other thing. Um, to um, raise them and raise them so that they're not conflicted and confused and want to hurt themselves because they can't understand why people are the way they are and why people are doing what they do, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I teach that through my literature. That's just one little tiny little minuscule thing of, of my liberal arts class. Um, so, yeah. So Tahira, my dear, I am so delighted. Hold on here. Okay, I'm going to wrap Sharon's up. And I got Sharina's right here. Um, I am just so thankful. I don't, well, I wrapped up because I'm talking to Tahira. I wrapped that up. Um, I think I can get uh, some images off of, let's see. I'll get some images to Tahira off of um, the videos. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Okay, guys. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Tahira. Okay, so what's next? This is such a treasure. These are just beautiful books. Family heirlooms is what I'm going to call them. Um, what's next? Okay, what am, what am I doing next? I've got some Asian kits coming up. I have a flip through of my Rita Donnelly book and my Jessica Rapp book. I've been saying that for, like, months. Um... I've got, uh, oh, and I, I'm going to take a small hiatus, but when I say small hiatus, guys, I'm really not going anywhere or doing anything. It just means that I'm going to organize and regroup because I also have um, some, well, I'm not going to tell you just yet. You'll just have to stay tuned, and I think you guys will like them, and the prices are going to be yummy. Where's my tape? The prices will be yummy, um, and super affordable but as a seasoned junk journal curator <laughs> um you know i price like i'm a seasoned junk journal curator so um and most of my most of my uh, repeat buyers know that my friends they they know that and um i do come back and i do share the love and i'll get some things from you guys as well let me put this back in here and so yeah so, okay, I'll stop rambling. Oh, 55 minutes. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. I think I put that in the wrong way. I'll get these wrapped up pretty, um, Tahira. Don't worry. I thank you so much um, for these lovely, lovely fa family heirlooms. Um, they're, they're just gorgeous, Tahira. And I know that um, Jackie and Sharon and Sharina will love them. Um, maybe one of these days I could buy Sharina's father one because he, he's definitely been in our family, you know, like for forever too. He, he is family. <laughs> they, they, they're not, they don't fight. They're not, they never fought or anything like that in terms of bad divorcing or anything. Nope, not at all. Um, so he is still very much a part of their lives. Um, and so um, maybe I'll come back and see if you can, um, if we can talk, maybe a guy journal for him. Um, and I've got, well, anyway, we'll talk. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So I'll be back with some Asian packs. 
I got a Rita Donnelly Jessica Rapp journal flip through. I've got um, another surprise coming up. I got a giveaway coming up. And all of that's going to be pretty quickly. Just keep in mind, um, I'm not on here like every day. I don't post videos every day, every week because I teach. I, I have a job. So I can't do that. Um, even though I'm teaching remotely most of the time. Um, I can't uh, be here every day, but I sure will be back with some some things that I think you guys will like. Go visit my Etsy shop. There is a lot of goodness. I'm getting ready to post these buttons in here. Um, I've got some uh, reserved, a couple little packs reserved for, for some people. Um, and those will post pretty soon. Um, I've got, what else is going on in my shop? Oh, I got some Reader's Digest books. Duh. Maybe I'll get those posted tonight. I don't have any grading to do or anything like that. So I might post those tonight. I don't know. Just keep watch of my shop. And I still have um, some of the slow stitch snippet roll kits left there. So go pick up one of those. I guarantee you, you will love them. They have everything in them that you need to make a, a snippet roll or slow stitch with. Um, the pieces that are in those kits are very unique um, and handy. Um, the laces are laces that I chopped up. They're old um, that I uh, secured from, acquired from um, estate sales that my mother and I have frequented over the years, over the many years. So, so pick up a pack of that, a kit of that. Um, and yeah. And I will be back with more goodness, guys. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues. And thanks for tuning in.